Alright, so today we are going to be discussing how to fix certain swing issues, and let's get started. Does your swing look like this? So, for this drill, what we're going to be doing, we see these two balls, they are about even height, we want to make sure this one is slightly lower than this one. This is one. As you're swinging, you get prepared to swing. You start your swing, you make contact, and then pull off the ball, which you see a lot of hitters do. The ball will be a weak grounder, it's a short stop. Uh, third baseman if you're a righty, first baseman somewhere around there if you're a lefty. So what you'll do, the ball will do when that happens, you'll hit bump it, you'll roll over weak and perfect contact and you could be hitting it right back up the middle with power. What this throw allows us to do is go through this ball and still be in the plane where you can make good contact and go through this ball. As you see it is slightly elevated because that's just where your body is actually wanting your bat to go slightly upwards so you can get a little bit more launch angle, but then again, not popping up. Now, next, does your swing look like this? So, for this stroke, you see I'm dropping my hand and I'm swinging up. Therefore, I'm going to pop up the ball instead of hitting a line drive, which is more likely to be a hit. So, what we do to correct this is we set up two tees, one taller than the other. The front one, you're going to want to hit this one. In the bottom one, you're not going to want to touch that. So this is really the easier version because the balls have much more distance in between each other. So what you want to do is you're going to load, take your swing, and hit. But you're going to try not to hit this ball. And as you get more familiar with this, keeping your bat in that plane for longer, and not dipping it under, then you can start to raise this ball to make it a little harder and keep your hands in the right place. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.